Hello and welcome back to another episode of the GeoGuessr Daily Challenge. We had a silver yesterday, not great. We're going to do better today, but real quick before we start, um, tomorrow, starting tomorrow, for the next five days, I'm going to be away um, like I've done before. And you guys, while I'm gone, are going to get duels videos instead of the daily. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to play the daily while I'm away, but you will still have those videos coming in for you 8 p.m. Eastern u.s time every day and then i'll be back i'll be back on wednesday so look forward to that i guess all right so right off the bat here i'm thinking maybe ireland but i don't know maybe not i mean this red definitely doesn't suggest that i was thinking it because well the yellow in the back does maybe northern ireland or isle of man or even jersey um because it's really green. That's why I was thinking of Ireland. Um, we do need a little bit more info though. Let's go into this. What looks like a town here. Or maybe not a town. But at least a couple houses. But again we have yellow in the back. White in the front. I mean these stone walls remind me even of Scotland. So that we could be in Scotland right now. Um... This just says something footpath, and that symbol, I don't know, I, am I making stuff up to to think that that might be something Scottish? <laughs> That's a Scottish symbol. No, I don't know. Um, but it really could be, it really could be, and I think with the stone wall meta, the stone walls are more common in Scotland type of thing. Could be. Um, island drainage, That's his island. Isle of Man Water Authority. Well, there you go. Um, that's good news. Good news because Isle of Man is even smaller. I'm just going to shove it right in the center there until we find something better. Um, yeah, nothing there. Interesting. So Isle of Man, maybe that symbol is an Isle of Man symbol, which would make sense. Um, I feel like I've seen it before, which is why... I thought that. Um, so where would we be in the country wise? Uh, I don't really know. I don't really have any reference to figure out. Um, well, that looks like water to our south, doesn't it? Definitely looks like water to our south. We might be. There's Castletown potentially over there on the western side of things. So we're probably. Well, the, is the airport there? It might be. It might be. So we might be up here somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and guess. And yeah, we, we, we're actually looking at this one, I think. Not this one, but not bad. 15 points lost. Okay, next up. This is just Mongolia. That simple. Um, now, where in Mongolia are we? And the reason is Mongolia, obviously, is roof rack here. We have a snorkel on the car, which is obviously not the Kenya snorkel. And Cyrillic everywhere. And, of course, as I always say, it just looks like it. So, where are we? This could be outside Ulaanbaatar, the capital, right? Uh, or it could be another city. No good way of knowing right now for me. Let's see. Maybe we can find the name of something. I like this. Um, so, this is Kai, Kairkan, Kairkan, or something like that. Uh, Kairkan. I don't know. Do we find that? I mean, here's Kar Karkorin. Kairkan is where we are. There looks to be some sort of something up there on the hill. Very interesting. But I don't know. This feels super, super built up. Almost like this has to be Ulaanbaatar. Or near it. Here's a river. Sizable-ish river. Well, not really sizable, actually. And a roundabout at the end of it. Odds we find a river? Let's look. I mean, I know there is a river in Ulaanbaatar. But it might not be that one, you know could be over here 
Uh, I think it, it's just smarter to go to the capital in this situation, even if I don't know exactly where. Just because you get so many rounds in the capital, you know? Um, so Ulaanbaatar will start with a Latin Y. I want to see this sign because it looks very promising. Um, Kairkan. Kairkan, it has to be a thing. Uh, because we've seen it. Oh. Korin. Duh. This one I see, but it. Let's keep looking. <laughs> Let me not throw myself off. I just hope we're not on the other side of the country. We were. We lost 2,000 points. We were actually in Ulistai. Uliastai. And nothing that says Kairkan. So. Ah. Kavkan? Maybe I was wrong on one letter. Uh. We're not out. But we're certainly not in a good spot. Ah, well, we're in Mongolia again here. Two in a row. We have a roof rack, and it looks like it. But this looks significantly different than the last round. Um, let's look at what some of these letters are, because I do have a short memory when it comes to Cyrillic, unfortunately. Um, I think... I want to know what this letter is. This guy down here. Um, but I actually can't find it anywhere. Which is interesting. To say the least. I do think it's even more like... Wait a second. Uh, let's not make an assumption really too quickly. Uh, I did make an assumption really too quickly because this is Kyrgyzstan. This is not Mongolia at all. Uh, and also... I think, luckily, the absence of that letter did help me realize, but really the main thing is the red badge on the license plates, which I didn't think of and also didn't realize. I'm sure it's been a thing forever, but I just didn't realize that they have a roof rack in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, and it has a look which, I don't know, I think coming right out of that last round, having a roof rack and then having one in this one is why I thought immediately it would be Mongolia. But no, this is definitely Kyrgyzstan and the mountains. The way they look definitely confirms it. So I'm thinking, could this be Bishkek? I don't think so. Bishkek has mountains to the south. So we have to be somewhere more southern. Maybe Jalal Abad. It's not a bad shout. Um, Jalal Abad. Uh, we need information. So this symbol is that... That symbol, which is a J sound. Um, so obviously that says uh, Janar. Which I don't know what that means. Uh, this one says Second Hand. hand. Ah, Second Hand. Very nice. This one says something. Uh, yeah, this is how these rounds usually go for me. In countries with Cyrillic languages, I spend the entire time looking at store signs that I can't read. And I actually don't make any progress. So, there's a bit of a big, big old temple there or something. I, I really don't know what to call it. Um, but I'm thinking, is this accurate? Mountains to the east, mountains to the north, going up that way. That kind of checks out. Okay, it doesn't at all. It doesn't check out at all. It's bad. Yeah. Uh, no gold. No gold. Uh, we lost 1,500 points, and we lost 2,000. We're already up to lo losing 3,500 points in two Central Asian rounds. I guess that's, yeah, Central Asia. 
I guess you could say. Not great. Here we are with another roof rack. Third roof rack of the day in a different location. This one has to be, in my mind, Guatemala. It looks very tropical, mountainous, and a roof rack. So, Guatemala. That's what that means to me. Uh, could be wrong, of course. That says Colombatzela. Something like that. Uh-huh. Colombacela. Colombrina. I don't know. Let's put one down. And keep looking. I'm not really... Today what this is showing me is that I really do not know enough about roof racks. <laughs> Where they show up what they mean because uh, you can't just assume a roof rack means a place I can't just assume a roof rack means Guatemala for example in this case I thought I could but I am starting to doubt it of course as I do none of this helps me unfortunately um, we have a truck that says nothing on it. The old ladies there don't help, unfortunately. Guy has a phone number. If I knew the formation of the phone numbers in Guatemala, maybe that could help, but I don't. The format, rather. Um, and we're just going up into the mountains to nowhere. I'm actually going to set a checkpoint and go this way instead. The direction that the car was indeed driving. Yeah, very nice. Just can't click forward at all. Very, very good. Thank you, GeoGuessr, for being so great. I'm going to have to become a no-moving player just because of how much it annoys me. Um, this should help. Aha, uh -huh, Spanish. Quetzaltenango. Here. We're around here. Very nice. Good round. Next up. USA, possibly. Uh, look at this coverage. Look at this coverage. All right, we're out of it. Ballard Truck Center. Doesn't help. Doesn't help. What an ugly place man and I can say that I'm from America um let's see speed limit 30 USA is definitely confirmed that Canada's would look different and they wouldn't be in miles per hour USA American flag there you go and possibly a state flag one that I don't know some state flags I do this one I do not got an anchor interestingly enough we're gonna look at this thing in a second Rhode Island makes sense anchor right I didn't think Rhode Island looked like this to be honest with you but I've also never been to Rhode Island so I couldn't tell you what it looks like um well it's small enough that uh, any guess really won't hurt me too bad probably not near Providence probably out here and we were indeed just kind of in the middle of my guess in Providence Again, today was a day where the hard rounds really got to me and the easy rounds, the gettable rounds were gettable. I got them, right? This one, this one, and this one. No problem at all. Mongolia and Kyrgyzstan, I just can't read the Cyrillic well enough to be able to figure out where I am. The Ulistai, Uliastai, I couldn't see that anywhere. And if I saw it, I skipped over it because I couldn't read it. And, and Kyrgyzstan, you know, mountains here, mountains there. I don't really know where to put myself when I see mountains to the north. I just know it's not Bishkek. Really difficult. Well, I didn't even see where... Uh, let's click in. Uh, 693 people have played. I am not even... Well, I'm in the top 50. 43. It was a tough one, I guess. Uh, round 2 and 3 were the hard ones. Let's see how people did. Yeah, pretty, pretty not great. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below, subscribe for the daily GeoGuessr videos, and I will see you tomorrow with a duel, and I will see you live, or the day of at least, back, um, 
in five days on Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, one of those days. I'll see you then. Bye.